Russia has increased its focus on Africa's Sahel region in the last year, inserting itself in countries such as Mali and Burkina Faso through the infamous Wagner Mercenary Group, taking advantage of Western policy mistakes, growing anti-European sentiment, and long-standing failures of international and local actors to address the root causes of regional instability. A lot of infrastructural projects funded by Russia have popped up in Africa in recent years. So in this video, I am going to be sharing with you 11 ongoing projects funded by Russia in Africa. These projects are evidence of Russia's expanding political and economic influence in Africa, and they are projected to have a significant impact on the continent's development. Without wasting much of your time, let's begin. 11. $2 billion gas pipeline. A group of companies, including Russia's Gazprom, is constructing a gas pipeline from Mozambique to South Africa. The pipeline is being built to deliver natural gas from Mozambique to South Africa. It is expected to be finished in 2024 and will have a capacity of 16 billion cubic meters of gas per year. This will help expand South Africa's energy needs while also boosting Mozambique's economy. This is the first major energy project developed between Russia and Africa. This initiative will also create jobs, stimulate the economy, and improve energy security in both countries. 10. The $500 million road network in Angola Stroy Transgas, a Russian company, is one of the companies building Angola's road network. This network is being expanded to improve mobility in the country. It will comprise the construction of around 2,000 kilometers of roadways, and the project is expected to be completed by 2025. This initiative will improve Angola's transportation while also boosting the country's economy. This is because these roads will connect marketplaces to rural areas, hence connecting farmers to markets. This is a critical project because it is the largest infrastructure project in Angola's history. This initiative has also created work for residents. 9. New Schools in Kenya Russia is building new schools in Kenya. In 2022, the Russian government announced that it would be funding the construction of 10 new schools in Kenya. The schools are expected to be built in rural areas where there is a shortage of schools. The Kenyan government is committed to providing all children with access to quality education, and it sees the Russian-funded schools as a valuable contribution to this effort. The first phase of this project is expected to be completed this year. The schools are expected to serve over 10,000 students. 8. The 300 Million Agricultural Project in Mozambique Russian company known as Rusagro is among the companies in charge of the agricultural project in Mozambique. The project will involve the development of 20,000 hectares of land for the production of soybeans, corn, and wheat, and will also include the construction of a grain processing plant and a poultry farm. This project is expected to create over 2,000 jobs. It should be noted that the Russian government provided a $150 million loan for the realization of this project. The project is expected to be completed by 2025. Once completed, it is expected to produce over 100,000 tons of soybeans, 200,000 tons of corn, and 100,000 tons of wheat per year. Russia sees Africa as a key market for its agricultural products, and it is also interested in developing Africa's agricultural sector. The project is expected to create jobs, boost agricultural production, and increase exports. It is also expected to help Mozambique reduce its reliance on food imports. 7. The New Bridge in Tanzania This bridge is being built across the Rufiji River and is expected to be completed in 2024. The bridge is 1.3 kilometers long and will have four lanes. It will be the longest bridge in Tanzania and will be a major improvement to the country's infrastructure. The bridge will connect the eastern and western regions of Tanzania and will make it easier for people and goods to move around the country. The bridge is also expected to boost tourism in Tanzania. The Rufiji River is a popular tourist destination and the new bridge will make it easier for tourists to reach the area. Russian government's decision to fund the bridge in Tanzania comes at a time when Russia is facing international sanctions due to its invasion of Ukraine. It is unclear how the sanctions will affect the project, but it is possible that they could lead to delays or cancellations. 
6. The Construction of New Roads in South Africa Russia is helping in the construction of new roads in South Africa. In addition to that, the bilateral trade between Russia and South Africa increased by 16.4% in 2022 compared to the previous year and reached $1.3 billion. There is further potential for collaboration with growing interest from Russian energy companies in the South African market. Direct shipping from South Africa to Russia has also resumed with products from South Africa to Russia, with significant quantities of South African wines and fruits replacing European products on Russian supermarket shelves. This consumer trend can be expected to develop in other areas. 5. New Sports Facilities in Algeria Russia is assisting Algeria in the development of a new sports complex in Oran, which is anticipated to be completed in 2025. The facility will host the Mediterranean Games in 2025, and Russia is giving financial and technical assistance for the facility's construction. The new sports complex is expected to be state-of-the-art. It will comprise a 40,000-seat main stadium, as well as several other sporting venues such as an aquatics facility, a tennis complex, and a velodrome. The development of the new sports center demonstrates Russia and Algeria's strengthening collaboration. The two countries have strong links in a variety of fields, including trade, energy, and security. Hope you are gaining a lot of information from this video. Encourage us to continue creating videos like this for you by liking this video and subscribing to the new tourist channel. Turn on notifications too so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. Let's continue. 4. Nuclear Power Plant in Egypt A Russian company, Rosatom, is building the Egyptian nuclear power plant at El Daba on the Mediterranean coast. The project is worth an estimated $30 billion and is expected to be completed by 2028. The project will have four VVER-1200 reactors, the most advanced kind of nuclear reactor currently in operation. The reactors are safe and efficient, and they will be able to generate enough electricity to power 16 million Egyptians. The construction of the nuclear power plant is expected to provide thousands of new jobs in Egypt, strengthen the country's economy, and assist Egypt in reducing its dependency on fossil fuels to meet its climate change targets. Environmentalists are concerned about the safety of nuclear power and have expressed their concerns about the project. However, the Egyptian government has stated that the project is safe and vital to meet the country's growing demand. 3. The Construction of Major Refinery Complex and Railroad Angola has given two Russian companies the green light to build a major refinery complex and railroad that will help the African country. The construction of a major refinery complex and railroad in Angola would be a significant undertaking, with the potential to have a major impact on the country's economy and infrastructure. Angola is a major oil producer, but it currently exports most of its crude oil for refining and then imports the refined products. This means that Angola is vulnerable to fluctuations in global oil prices and that it pays a premium for imported refined products. The construction of a refinery complex in Angola would allow the country to process its own crude oil, saving money on transportation costs and giving it more control over its energy supply. The railroad would improve transportation links within Angola, making it easier to move goods and people around the country. The construction of a refinery complex and railroad would require a significant investment of capital and resources. However, it is a project that could have a major payoff for Angola. 2. New Hospitals in Nigeria In 2021, Russia's sovereign wealth fund, the Russian Direct Investment Fund, RDIF, signed a $2 billion agreement with the Nigerian government to finance the construction of 20 new hospitals across Nigeria. The project is still in the early stages of planning, and it is unclear when construction will begin. If the project does go ahead, it would be a significant investment by Russia in Nigeria's healthcare sector. Nigeria has a large and growing population, and its healthcare system is under strain. The construction of new hospitals would help to improve access to healthcare for Nigerians and reduce the burden on the existing healthcare system. 1. The Construction of New Desalination Plants Russia is assisting Morocco in the construction of new desalination plants. In 2022, Rosetom, 
Russia's state-owned nuclear power corporation, and the Moroccan company Water and Energy Solutions signed a Memorandum of Understanding to cooperate on the implementation of water desalination, conditioning, and purification projects. Morocco is facing a growing water crisis due to climate change and population growth. Desalination is a key technology for Morocco to secure its water supply. Desalination plants use energy to remove salt from seawater, making it fresh enough to drink or use for irrigation. Russia's assistance to Morocco in the construction of new desalination plants is a sign of the growing cooperation between the two countries. Russia's investment in Africa has also been met with some criticism. Some observers have accused Russia of neocolonialism and of exploiting Africa's resources for its own benefit. Others have raised concerns about the environmental impact of some Russian projects. Despite these criticisms, Russia's investment in Africa is likely to continue to grow in the years to come. Russia sees Africa as a key market for its goods and services, and is also interested in developing Africa's resources. Russia's investment in Africa is also a way for Russia to expand its influence on the continent and to counter the growing influence of China. We have come to the end of this video. Do you know some other projects that were not mentioned? Let us know in the comments below. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the new tourist channel. Turn on notifications too so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.